Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn where it has been a while for me once again but I am home now no longer at the ASMR hotel and we are here looking as gorgeous as ever to talk to Petra Forge Woman who is I believe she's that one up there I just uh, I think I had to drop down and do a save down here but how's it going? I've missed this game, and I've missed you guys. And I don't know what this is about. All I know is someone told me I needed to do a quest up with Petra Forge Woman. <laughs> well, well. Always told Durval a woman what Whoa. to do him. And he had it coming. Nice! <laughs> I've calluses older than you. I have calluses enough if you want to test me. <laughs> she sparks. I believe it, flame hair. Petra Forge Woman. Uh, Aloy. Machine Hunter. Mmm, <laughs> Machine Hunter. <laughs> machine Hunter. I could have a use for you. Straight of it is, we're being muscled out of our own I clay. like that she looks older. That's why I've been working on this scrap-spitting beast. It's a dispute settler. Well, no, like usually in games, they're like, oh, yeah, I'm older than you. Like, Overwatch, like, the only older woman, the only older-looking woman is Anna, and technically Mercy's, like, 50, and, like, the new hero, Ash, is, like, 39. I'm like, no, she isn't. <laughs> Not unless she's using the same nanobot technology that Mercy's using to keep herself young. <laughs> so it's nice to see when women actually have, like, wrinkles and look older. I think someone told me technically Aloy is like 17, I think, in this game, which I'm like, holy cow, I thought she was like in her 20s, so. Shows what I know about age. Oh. So you're a forge woman. You run the forge and the town too. The town is the forge, and everyone pulls their weight. The right way to do it without all the Eeldermen having their say. What? If we were back in the claim, Osram land, Three days argument anytime someone wants to hammer in a bolt. Sounds infuriating. Nah. Oh, it is. But we like arguing. You need hot air to keep a furnace burning. Still, some traditions aren't up for debate. I would have ended up Petra Forge one. Yeah. <laughs> How do you like the sound of that? <laughs> I don't think it's <laughs> good answer. That's why I left. I was steel young from the forge then. Could make anything of myself before I cooled in my ways. That's an interesting way to look at it. I like that. Steel young before you cool. You could you could forge yourself into anything before you cooled, you know? And even then I think when you're older you can like you can you could always you could always look at it as a you could reheat yourself, you know, spark yourself with some change and forge yourself into something new. So it's not like it's not like you're stuck in one path, but but if you like the path you're on, you might as well stay. So you left your homeland and came here? Went to Meridian. Everyone does. Joined the work gangs on the Great Elevator. We finished just as the Mad King got a taste for blood. Oh. So I spat and swore I'd find a place for everyone who stuck with me. We lived job to job until the war ended. Then we came upon this old Osirum camp. Long abandoned, metal piled up high. A place to start again. A place to leave my mark. <laughs> When I was your age, I thought the lasting mark came from the hardest strike. I suppose you know better now that you're an elder. <laughs> Trade secret. Ah! Trade secret of being old. <laughs> no, that's cool. So, I guess if she, I guess Osirum isn't like as egalitarian as it could be. I thought it was because like they have, they seem to have men and women working the forge no matter what, but. I guess you can't be a leader or something in Osram. You have all the elder men doing stupid, dumb things. So I like that she came out here to make her own path. What is this place, Petra? The Free Heap. Free because we answer to no one but ourselves, the metal, and the dust storms. And the heaps back there. Nah. A scrapyard piled by Osram past from the leavings of the old ones. Breathe it in. Get the smell in you. Smoke. And sweat. <laughs> Living in the trees has dulled your senses. I can taste five metals just in my spit. So all this scrap was left by the ancients. Was it a battlefield? Hmm. Stockpile, maybe. Or a rubbish heap. Packed so tight it all fused together. Those old ones tossed away more than we'll ever know. Interesting. So this isn't just like... It's piled by the Osirum who came before, who took advantage of this giant... 
metal heap that we, the old ones, left behind. But don't you want to know? To understand what it all meant? Nah. nah. Some Delvers spend their whole lives trying to make sense of it. Not me. What it means is there's good smelting here. Yeah, don't need to understand a forest to chop down the trees for your arrows. If you did, you'd know Ridgewood makes better shots. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Careful, you'll scald your tongue with that fire. <laughs> I don't pine for the old ones. They had their time. Their works are finished. All their inventions are under mountains now, rust on bones. My sisters and brothers of the forge will make a new world. It's a good point. I think, though, understanding is, like, it kind of kills me, right, that she's, like, She's basically dismantling what I would classify as an, like, an archaeology site. And I guess a lot of it is, you can't, like, this is a world about survival. You can't be too picky, but, like, people going into the ruins and removing things and stuff. It's just like, eh, like, I'm on Aloy's side where it's like, I want to understand why it's there. Like, I'm curious. Like, it's funny because archaeology is actually technically the study of people's garbage. Like, we don't like to say it a lot. Unless it's amongst ourselves, because it's like a joke. But it's like, archaeology is basically, you, you study, the fancy word is middens. <laughs> so if you if we find, like, what's basically a giant trash heap from, like, prehistoric times, we're so excited. Because you can find so much stuff in there that tells you about the daily life of the people who lived in the area. And it's like, so basically we're studying the leftovers, the remnants that people didn't even think a lot of times were valuable enough to bring with them. So, we just study the garbage. So you find a big giant heap, or big big garbage heap, and you're like, oh my gosh, you can find so many things in there. <laughs> so I'm excited, I wanna go look at this heap. This weapon you're working on, I've never seen anything like it. Your design? Mm, see my face in it, can you? This one's mother helped reclaim Meridian back in the day. A job like that isn't done with strategy. They needed to shake the walls, turn the mad Sun King's army to blood and feathers. What's that face for? Weapons with such power. It's not the weapon, Flamehair, it's the wielder. If that siege had touched the great elevator, they'd have answered to me. Good work, that elevator. Story in every chain link. I'll make you suffer them one day if you like. I wouldn't mind. This beast doesn't have a story yet. Too heavy to carry, eats metal like a snap maw. I feel like I'm about to sneeze. Oh boy. Well, let's see. You said you're being pushed out of your territory. Out of the junk heap. A pack of scrappers came snuffling in just after we opened a good seam of weapon parts. And now we've got a standoff with a gang of bandits at our foundry. They blockaded us out. They're sitting on our power cells. Guess they like shiny things. Nah. Well, to finish up our defenses, I need those parts and cells. In and out job. Keep your hands clean. What? I'm not afraid of getting Yeah, angry. what the heck? <laughs> Aren't you a blast of air from the bellows? I love all the little, like, sayings that everybody seems to have that's, like, very, very, um, indicative of their cultural origin. I like it a lot. I think it's very cool. Okay. All right. I was gonna say scrapper. I feel like a scrapper wouldn't actually be hard for these guys to take care of, but bandits, bandits might be another thing. I do think they could handle it. It honestly seems, well, they don't just have scrappers over there. That's like a thunder jar, not a thunder jar, but one of the cat things. That worked. I had right of rule. I'd have taken the town first. More slaves for digging up lightning boxes. Then make your claim for it when the others get here. Won't be long now. I was trying to remember how how to uh, mark people. I couldn't remember for a second. I was like in Assassin's Creed mode. Okay, what are the options I have at my disposal? I think it's just headshots, right? Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Oh, I forget. I think I'm using regular arrows. Ow. Okay, hang on. Oh yeah, I'm running. I am using regular arrows. What a derp! Let's see if this does anything to you. Machine to do our work for us. Oh, he's firing. The humans do fire on the other humans when you corrupt them. They're not doing a lot of damage, but they're doing something. Attack me. Oh wow. Oh wow. Intense. Okay, cool. Alright. So I probably could have done that quietly, but holy cow, look at that stormbird. Test out the uh, the corruption thing. It's cool that it works on humans. I mean, it's kind of terrifying, honestly, but you know, it is what it is. It's getting dark. Oh boy. You don't have anything for me? Lame. I need more metal shards. It's, I know it's basically the end game, but uh, oh, there's another bandit. I wasn't close enough. Oh, the other bandits didn't have anything. Hang on, we'll mark this one while we're here. Oh, yeah, mark. Oh. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, there's so many. Alright, this will be a fun... I was thinking, man, that's pretty small. Small for a... Come on. No. No! Tag. Tag. Okay, this one's gonna be hard. There we go. I don't think I see any other machines. Okay. Alright, I probably should have gone high ground. I didn't realize there were going to be more people here. All this scrap. Dragged here from who knows where and when. It looks so eerie in the moonlight. Okay, there's gotta be... Wait, oh, there's definitely a machine. Or two. Here, let's see. They're 
all stunned. That one's like one. There's another one. Another one? It's kind of hard to see where they are. Makes taking out machines so much the easier. Scrappers prowling. Hope they haven't stripped the parts already. I realize I need to take out the bandits, but I really wanted to check this place out. I got wire. It's maybe not as exciting a way to take out. I like to watch, maybe, but there's a trampler site over here. You know what this honestly looks like is it looks like a space I'd have to ditch something. scrapyard. Oops. Got some wire finally. Might be kind of hard. Oh, there's like a. Oh, if I wanted to, like, climb on that and, uh, shoot from above. That's like a, a light. Like a spotlight, but it's on a globe of some sort. This honestly looks like a, like a, like a space state or like a tram. Oh, it's a tram! Like a, or a train, maybe like a high-speed train? Interesting. The scrappers made that pile. Strange. Are they nesting? What? That pile? Well, the scrappers, um, are part of Gaia's plan to help keep things clean. So maybe they're trying to organize this mess. Oh, it's a winch. 
Maybe it's not a train then? It's like a pulley winch system, but a really heavy duty one. Anyway. Oh, crap. Did all my... You're so high. Where'd they all go? There they are. Come on. Come on. Oh, I just realized... I think my computer volume was on and giving feedback. I was like, why do I keep hearing like an echo? I'm a dum dum. Okay, I think I've got everybody marked and this person's blind as a bat. I guess it helps. I, I think that, what does the shadow armor do for me? Steals its wear against blinding effects. Okay. And I have a sneak modification on it. Let's see. Plus seven, so. Eleven. Fifteen. Yeah. Cool. I saw, yeah. I saw a ladder. So we're sneaking. I guess I could try to take this person out. I'm not super confident. Like, it's been a while, and it's pretty dark. Oh, dang. Okay, maybe this wasn't- this, maybe this wasn't the way. There's gotta be a way. Yeah, they keep these areas, like, separate and distinct or something. I think there was a way up here? No? Bandits have a good defense. Better spot all their sentries before I look for the power cells. Oh, yes. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that worked. Whew, it's not gonna be like the last bandit camp where I was like, Hey, look, an arrow! The last bandit camp where I was like, I don't know where I'm going. Okay, I was like, you let me get over here, you better let me climb. Please. Oh, it's so hard to see. Why is it so dark? Did it untag everybody again? There's more people. I think there was like somebody under me. Maybe not. Aha. Please don't do that. Whew. 
Oh my gosh, that was scary. Oh my gosh, I'm right above people. I think I will try to take out all the upper guys. Before I take out anybody on the ground. Those two are right next to each other though, so they're gonna be a problem. They move around a lot, so they're able to see each other. It gets getting bright and then dark again. Like if I could get a headshot on one and then use slow-mo time on the other, I might be able to do it. But as it is, I think this guy's gonna be a problem. Ah! Oh! Come look at your friend. You died from that. Okay. I was kind of hoping you would um, attack other people. Look, up there. Oh. Or when the when the corruption runs out, does it make it so that uh? She dies, or they die, whoever. Yeah, okay, when the corruption runs out, they die. Okay. All right. Is so jingling a lingy. Alright, I think that's everybody. Congratulations, everyone! 
Now I get to loot your bodies. Nothing interesting up there. So this is the foundry. This is where they actually smelt things. Hey, it's a campfire, but I can't use it. I guess. Oh yeah, and I have to get the power, power thingies. There, a power cell. Kill, it. Kill a bunch of them on this scrap pile. Power cell. I need. Oh, nice. I need as many um shards as I can get to get the next upgrade on. Or to get the final upgrade, I'd rather for um, this armor because it looks so good. I think there was somebody. Yeah, it died up there. Nice. Getting it done by morning. See, lady, it just takes me a night. I get your problems taken care of. I'm Aloy Problem Solver. I'm the best there ever was. Do you have anything interesting? Uh, probably not. Oh, I also forgot the last power cell. It's cool, I just got excited. Oh, the last power cell is up there. Crap. Of course it is. Can't go inside? Of course not. How do I get- Aha! <laughs> I wish they'd have made it brighter. Like, it's really hard to see. Scoot over. Drop, drop. What? Okay, done. Now to get into the scrapper's run and find those weapon parts. Oh, okay. Well, I already killed the scrappers, unless they respawn, in which case I'll be, I'll be sorely peeved. Nope, don't go down. You'll get yours when the clan blows in. Town's good as torched. I killed you all. What the heck? What? No. What? Haha. -ha. Your stupid walls can't stop me. So I'm not gonna go to the town yet. I'm still going to the scrapper den. And I gotta get the weapons. That's a good thing I took out those scrappers. Just kidding, there's still some left. Oh my gosh, how many? They re I'm so mad. Oh, you still attack me? Lame. I guess if I'm close enough. <laughs> Jeez. I guess I get more stuff. moving into the abandoned why are there no that's not fair I guess I could always try to sneak in if I use my maybe they won't see me and they'll see each other and be angry at each other Really? Alright, new plan. Did I get 
get it. Now fight each other. I guess I could take a... Uh... More of these. Oh, and I should take a helm potion. Or just there, that'd be fine. So there's three weapons spots. Where's the first one? I see one, two. Aha, okay. Let me find something Patrick can use. Oh shoot. Fast. I want that. I want that too. Wait, whoa. That's a 26% resist freeze weave, and that's a 29% one. Is there. Outfits, weapons, modification. Foxbone. Okay, so I can increase. I just need foxbone. Alright. I uh, will kill some foxbones, or kill some foxes then. But for now. Let's see what I've got that I don't... Oh, well, I've got a ton of freeze. This one's not as good. Okay. Probably that purple one has extra stuff to it. We're still surprised. Whoa! Big guy. Actually, I'll just loot on here. No room. It's okay. Loot, loot, loot. The stuff in this game is useful. Like, I like looting because it's always useful. And I have tons of boxes. This ranged attacks weave. Interesting. Uh, it's green. I don't need it. Ooh, so cool looking. It's too bad uh, I don't know how to access photo mode. Is it... Uh, how do I just take the photo? Wow, you can do lots of stuff. Interesting. Okay. I just press X. And I kind of want to. Cool. Nice! I like it. Did I take it? I don't even know. Oh no, that was hide UI. Okay, well. It doesn't actually tell me how to take the picture. Oh my gosh, somebody's, somebody's mad over there.
Are these? They were chained machines. Oh shoot. <sighs> Back to Petra. I've been in the scrapyard long enough. So, but that looked like a subway over there. And then the pulleys were to control to try to like tie down the machines, maybe? That were attacking? Jeez. Alright, I feel bad about that, but there's nothing I can do about it. But I am afraid I'm gonna have to go. Um, it's been a little longer than it probably should have been, but when we get back, hopefully we can rescue. I know, puppy, you wanna do the W A L K. Um when I get back, we can go. And I have the whole map open. I know I know we did that last time, but it's just it's just nice to see. But there's so many things I can do. Um, oh, I'm super close to that. No, okay, we'll get it later. For, for now, we have this. And I'll try to get the upgrade for the pack. For the components or whatever. Uh, resor not resources. You know what I mean. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one.